Yo, today's show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Your online activity should not be public. So protect yourself at expressvpn.com slash achievement. Hi, I'm Matt, and you're watching Awu. He is. After surviving a record-breaking snowstorm in Loveland, Colorado, I'm Kelly. This is Mochi, and you're watching Awu. For the week of April 19th, 2021 we are trucking our way through april welcome to abu everybody it's abu time yeah. abu. hi i'm back guys hi oh you made it back you doing all right matt you... <laughs> yeah, yeah look back. at michael and i'm oh, back man. matt's back. gone yeah, yeah. oh my arm's tired. melting Don't oh your good. shoulder is getting me. snapped a well, little bit <laughs> it's a little bit of a green tint to this shirt so not the best thing but you know mm. what i don't care i couldn't be bothered i even used this from a thumbnail so there's some text just off camera, like right over here. So I just zoomed in a lot. Oh! I thought it was just the text that was going. laying around the office, you know. No, yeah. it doesn't usually float in the air. Oh, uh, you're right. I thought I'd right. spice up my background a little bit, you know. Okay. It's a little spicy. I'm hey. sick, too. I'm a sicky, which is why we're doing this AWU virtual again. And if you're wondering, the off-topic last week was also virtual. Because I got mm -hmm. a cold... And I ruined it. And we were going to film a bunch of stuff at the office. And then they were like, well, you know, Lindsay shouldn't come in either because if I'm sick, they're not sick, but they could be sick. And so I just fucked it it's all true. up. But yeah. so I'll have you know, it was my kid's fault because they got me sick. Hey, well, there so it is. They did it, actually. Kids can do that. Yeah. I'm in the clear. one of their, uh, their things. Getting other people sick. What the hell? <laughs> Uh, we don't know. We, do, I, we, we just don't know. Don't that was the sickness. Just it just moved right through. We just don't know. The sickness coming it. in. We um, crank the lights. We got a couple of things we got to talk about. Oh, Starting with a brand new podcast. The guy himself is not here. The man himself, Jack Patello. But he's oh, got a new podcast. Pass. Oh, yeah. Annual pass. It starts April 22nd. So nice. in uh, three days, uh, wherever you listen to podcasts, that's where it will be. Uh, there will be merch dropping the same day, so you're not waiting in for merch on that thing. You know, it's it's not a chump scenario. It's just it's just it's there. Day number one. Yeah, that's gonna be Jack's show about theme parks. Which, if you want to hear that guy talk about theme parks, he knows a lot He's about. He's got a lot to say. That's true, for sure. He's got true. a lot to say on those. Um, but um, you'll hear him bring it up on a lot of stuff because he's very excited about it. So, uh, OT3 podcast is April 27th, 5:30 p.m. on RT TV. There's also Michael Unruly Rollers oh, is the name. Oh, yeah. Of, uh, um, that's the what, show that we're in, Matt. Rollers? Just it so is. you know. It yeah. Is. What's that, what's that all about, a, guys? It is an Alec-hosted D&D, mm -hmm. &D, or not D&D, &D, I should say, like an RPG role-playing show, even though RP means role-playing. So it's a role-playing game, role-playing game show. Mm -hmm. Um Basically, it's kind of like D and D. D I can't talk today. It's uh, mm. I think it's Kids on Bikes is the name of the game. Yeah. Um, but it's uh, featuring myself, Matt, Lindsay, and Trevor on an Alec guided adventure. Um, little mini series, little mini yeah. series. It's yeah. gonna be four episodes. We shot the whole thing in one day. I, we all we all dressed up. Yeah. It's set in like a '90s to 2000 era mall was very specific on not saying exactly when it was to confuse us the entire time um but you know it's just uh the four of us role playing in person at a table getting into some hijinks at the mall in the 90s or the year 2000 we never really landed on a firm year <laughs> no, no it went, so, it went high school the place. what was the yeah, time yeah. period <laughs> there's also a uh, bunch of events coming up. The Spring Event Series. Uh, mm. We're bringing live events home this May. So there's going to be a bunch of uh, cool live events, including ones from us, Achievement Hunter. Going to be doing some cool uh, some cool gameplay stuff and, you know, other... I don't want to spoil anything on what we're doing. And also because I don't know if it's set, anything set in stone yet. So I don't want to promise anything that smart. doesn't end up happening. Very smart. Um, but... We're going to be doing some special stuff. It's not going to feel like a normal live stream. It's going to feel like a real event. So you it's, can get your tickets now uh, at the website that's in the description. And we'll just say below right now, uh, springeventseries.eventbrite.com. Go there. Get your tickets. It's going to be similar to like what we did for RTX and what we're doing for mm -hmm. RTX this year. Um, probably not you know, as large of a scale, but just a little more like intimate event shows. Uh, I'll tell you one thing I know we're doing without any details. I'll give you Face Jam Ghost Kitchen. Oh, 
Who's di- the names who's, of these things are dying. amazing. <laughs> Tune in and find out. You know what I mean? Ooh, okay. Mm. okay. Wow. That one's already been announced, so. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm very excited about it. <laughs> Sham, if you didn't know this, is a ghost show. So, you know, I'm very excited about that. We've been workshopping this. We've been workshopping this idea that is going to be a Face Jam Ghost Kitchen in the live event well before this live event was a thing. And we went, perfect. This is where we're going to do it. I cannot wait for it. <laughs> I'm transparent. See Ooh. right through me. First the background um, disappears, then I disappear. There's, uh, there's also new merch. The Eco merch is available right now. Uh, we're working with one tree planted to plant a tree for every unit of merchandise sold from this awesome. collection. Uh, the campaign will be focused on the reforestation of California after the wildfires. So, yeah, it's going toward a good cause, and it's super, super comfortable. That uh, It is. Yeah. It that is. eco merch. Matt, and it looks good. It's great <clears throat> designs and everything. Matt Alfredo so. and myself modeled it. We pretended to, we pretended to be hanging out like, at the park. It was very mm-hmm. windy. It was. Um, <laughs> but it was, some, it was some comfy stuff. I don't know if you have the pictures. The shirt. Oh, I'm going again. The shirt that <laughs> I was wearing has a little bicep on it. Does it? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I like, saw it the other day. It's like it's like, like a bice, it's like a bicep, but then like it, it's like cut off, and there's like the little dog bone looking bone sticking out, and it just says "Get good." Oh shit! Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a fucking it's a good shirt. I snagged it. I need that shirt. I need that get good shirt. I love it. Um, and uh, I think that's pretty much it for stuff that we want to cover. Uh, just like in terms of like what's going on with us. Now we can get into the awu ness of the show. Uh, starting with comments and questions. This is stuff that you guys put in the comments of the videos, and we go through the previous Abu. Uh, Steffi does and picks out a couple of questions that you guys wanted to ask us. Um, like this one from Ghost Fenrir, who asks, If you could change one mundane, not important, maybe even ridiculous thing about our world or our reality, what do? <laughs> I got it. Easy. Yeah. Okay, good for yep. it. Um, you can't remove human waste entirely. That just seems impossible. Mm-hmm. But yeah. if we could just combine like our urine into our number twos, that would be great. Like if you oh. just didn't have to pee anymore, you know, you, yeah, it just all just came out one, of them. one way. You know what I mean? Your body just rerouted to the back. And, you know, when you got to dump, it all goes out. Now, maybe you would have to go more. I, I don't know. I'm just saying like, I'm gonna say, I, in theoretically, it would save a lot of trips to the bathroom. You know, you're just like, man, I've been drinking I mean, so much water, I gotta take a dump. <laughs> 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 drinking so much water. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, that's my I'm all answer. Backed up. Yeah. Uh, mine would be, I would, I want sleep to be like optional. That would be great. And it doesn't mess you up. Like if if you could just be like, ah, oh, this I don't have anything for another couple of hours. Guess I'll just sleep. Like if it was just a switch, you could just turn your brain off, and then yeah. like you know you just wake up when you need to, mm-hmm. and you're like, sweet. Now that time's passed. That was a whole waste of time there. But then at night, but, if you're feeling productive and stuff, you don't have to sleep. Yeah, but oh, you, you don't need but, to is the key thing. Like you yeah. you always don't feel tired. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, you could just be doing shit. Sleep's a waste. It's a waste of everyone's time. I mean, I'm I think feel, I feel kind of similarly, but for eating, like I'm just, it's, a, it's a waste, but I still want the taste. Like I want to have yeah. a, it's like a treat, but I don't need to do it. You know, I'm I'm looking at Matt and I'm watching him ponder, and I'm torn, just between the line of Matt going, "I'll never need to sleep again," or just Matt sleeping for 14 days straight. That's also a possibility. Right. <laughs> yeah, just like, going like, what? And oh, just close dude. Mass Effect's coming like, out. Yeah, exactly. Next month yet? Like, oh, man, that <laughs> game's coming out. Flip the switch. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> no one sees him. Um, <laughs> no, it's just like, oh, yeah, he's in another like hibernation waiting for the next game. <laughs> so eating, sleeping, and pooping. Or yeah. pee, pee and poop being different. Mm-hmm. Uh, a ridiculous one. I want dogs to no longer bark, but go <laughs> every time they're trying to bark. <laughs> Glade line it says if you had a clothing line collection based on your aesthetic slash personality slash style etc what would you call it mine would be like the bar brawl line and it would just be stuff that's already ripped and stained oh, nice. <laughs> and then <laughs> like different tank tops and stuff that like you wear it and people go that guy 
either doesn't have a job or mm -hmm. like is out here to try to lose his job. Oh damn! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I don't know what I'd call my. Probably like someone would be walking down the street, they'd see you wearing my shirt, and they'd be like, "Is that is that a trash bag?" And they're like, "Yeah." And they, there'd be a TB trash on the collar. There'd be a TB on the collar, and they'd be like, "I only wear a trash bag." And it'd wow! Just, it should be a range of like awful fitting clothing. You know what I mean? You know, how some people are like, yeah. "I wear this because the fit is good. It like contours to my body." I want clothing where like ah, I look great until I put this shirt on. <laughs> that's the that's the that's the trash bag look. I look great. Though. I've been dieting, but I don't want people to yeah. know. Yeah, <laughs> imagine though, imagine the reverse where you like, you know, wherever it may be, you're at the pool or like you know you've been on a bunch of dates with somebody. You go home, they take their shirt off, and you're like, oh my god, you're in you're such beautiful. A good shape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they were like, they were like, I owe everything to trash bag. You know, I didn't. I didn't want you to judge me for my body, so I only wear trash. Bags. I know you love me for me because yeah. I was wearing trash bags. If you if you love me with the trash bag, you'll love me without. Yeah. Thank you for thank you for those questions. We're keep we're trying to keep out a little short today, but we're gonna go on to uh, some artwork. So of course oh, we're always getting community artwork, which you can submit. Um, you can email it to fanmail at achievementhunter.com or post it on any social media platform with hashtag AH fan art so that we can see it uh, and we will find them and pull them up like this one by whimsy fluff on Twitter uh, who drew Ashley in her WWE oh, yeah. or her professional wrestling outfit from the uh, achievement hunter wrestling stream. Oh, yeah, she's not uh, affiliated of, yet. I don't think yeah. she hasn't been signed. Yeah, not affiliated. We were <laughs> avoiding a lot of copyright. You, you're okay. It was there's a sneeze coming, but it's not coming. It's just it's like here. <laughs> It's it's in my well, eyes. It's rolling the, in the eyes, eyes into the back of my head, uh, but so it doesn't want to come out. Part of Team Sass, we have actually. Yeah, there. which if you haven't seen the um, wrestling video that Aaron put together and we commentated over, uh, I'm not sure what it's called off the top of my head. It was phenomenal. Please, that that's uh, where March yeah. to Madness. March I to Madness. That's that's where yep. that outfit that Ashley is wearing is featured, uh, along with everyone else in Achievement Hunter. Um, so Aaron. Made all of our characters, had them auto fight, and a couple of us commentated while we watched, and we did not know the results or what was going to happen. That was wild. It was a wild video. I highly recommend you check it out. Maybe like put a link yeah. or something, or like put it on the screen. Yes, please go watch that because then we can do more. I want to. <laughs> I want to make it like WWE. There's a pay per view every month, and like we just gather to watch the new pay per view and see what's going on. Uh, it's good times. It's good times. Nice. See what happens with the championship. In, the, in that video, Caden has to defend it. Uh, and then we have by King Patillo on Tumblr drew this Chuck, like half Trevor, half Chuck. Yeah, it's I'm truck. Uh, talk. Truck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> truck. <laughs> I had a legitimate nightmare the other night that I was being chased by a serial killer dressed as Chuck. Oh damn! So uh, Trevor, a Chuck E. Cheese Trevor killer. Really yeah. good, damn, that's a really good blend they've got there. Um, yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's a good fusion. The classical yeah. Chuck outfit uh, with Trevor's head, although they've the like tea. they've it, moused his hair. It's like Chuck's yeah. gray skin color <laughs> or fur color hair. is uh, Trevor's hair color. Yeah, and he's got the teeth. That's good. The eyes Chuck really the get really get me. Yeah, the like, eyes are you. horrific. They're still red. Are Chuck E. Cheese's eyes I, I red? Don't I don't think, think so. I, but I don't think they are. <laughs> maybe after he has like a taste for blood, like that's what happens. But but uh, that is it for Awu. Unless someone has packages. Anyone got packages? I don't have no, shit because we've been getting them from the office. Yeah. And ah. then, you know, as I mentioned at the top, my children ruined it. Well, next time uh, there's an office Awu. And there'll be more packages. So remember, you can send those to 1901 East 51st Street, Austin, Texas, 78723. Uh, right there. Address is right there. But you can send packages there. We still have people going to the office. And uh, I will be more and more in person as time goes on. Uh, but, you know, in the meantime, uh, hopefully you get vaccinated. And yeah. uh, that's uh, that goes nice for you. And, yeah, you know, do even it. if you do, keep being kind of safe. You know, wear masks, kind of. Stay away from each other, wash your hands, stuff like that. But you know, just just play it safe. We're almost through it, so let's not let's not fuck it up at the finish line. But uh, that's it for Awu. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next week for more good good. And now I rest. 
lock him away so he might heal. This episode of AWU is brought to you by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Listen, we all know 2020 and 2021 have been hard. It's kind of hard not to notice that because everyone seems to be yelling about that. Uh, I don't know if you've heard, but these are unprecedented times. But screaming into the void isn't necessarily helpful. Something that might actually be useful for you is therapy. Therapy isn't just about feelings, though. It can be about whatever you want it to be. Lots of people deal with their temper or stress, depression, anxiety, PTSD, the list goes on. If any of these sound like you, you can use therapy to get some tools that make life easier. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, even live chat sessions with your therapist, so you don't have to have so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. No, if you don't want to slum it up like me. I totally get that. Uh, it's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can start communicating with your therapist in under 48 hours. Join the millions of people who are seeing what therapy is really about. It's always a good time to invest in yourself because you are your greatest assets. Again, this is sponsored by BetterHelp, and our viewers get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash AWU. That's BetterHelp.com slash A-H-W-U.